is a song I wrote called What It Feels Like. And I wrote it at Boston was special. Looking out my window on a Monday night. Thinking about how I got myself into it this time. I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like now. Looking out my window. Take me out, Amina Butterfly. I'll see y'all soon, all right? Amina just murdered it. You see Yandy crying like that and Rich all hype? Psst. Let's get this paperwork going. You got a pen in your back pocket? That was amazing! Oh, Girl, you had me up there. You brought me back to a place with my boo, so thank you so, so much. Oh, I needed so that. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, you did. Sorry, oh, Amina. How are you? It's so nice to meet you. Finally, finally. After listening and hearing so much about you, so nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. Good job. So listen, we want to sit down and talk just about yes. a few okay. things. If that's okay with you, Mr. Manager. Yes. Yo, I'm super excited Pete brought in Amina for us. We've been working under this Dollars Unlimited umbrella for quite some time now. And with this catch right here, I think we might have something. Have your peoples get with our peoples. Let's set up a meeting. Oh <laughs> and let's figure this thing out. Getting signed to a label is the hardest thing for an artist to do right now because everybody thinks they can rap and sing. So for Amina to pull us off, we out of here. Time to spread your wings and fly, Amina Butterfly. Let's fly to the bank, get these checks. Excellent job. Really? Proud of you. So proud of you. Good job. I'm so proud of you. And what else? Tomorrow, you and I link up, and we're gonna start discussing. Um, you gonna just leave this? <laughs> if you want me to. No, you don't have to. If you want me to. You always look handsome. What's wrong with my Timberlands? I love them. I love them. All right. Them. I gotta get home to the kids. But tomorrow, we're gonna celebrate you and I. I'm so proud. You of and you. I? Yes. Promise? Management, baby. You and I? I promise you. I promise you. I'm proud of you. You hear me? I'm gonna make some money. Be fine. Mina, on your way, baby. I guess at some point you and I, we had to meet. I'm actually kind of glad that you came. What, what are you so excited about seeing before? I do know that Peter told you what's going on between him and I, kind of, sort of, but not really. Okay, I'm, I'm all ears. What he told me is that he told you he's with me. That's true, he said that, but there's more to it. Do you understand that Peter has a family? Did you, did you not know that? I knew that Peter had a son. Jameson. I did not know about Kaz up until like three months ago. Let's just use your basic common sense here. A man with children, with a woman that he lives with. How do you think that it's remotely possible that we're living together as a roommate situation when you know that we have children? Did you think those kids are immaculate conception and he's well, helping out? let me say out? this. Like, I'm gonna tell you exactly what he told me, which is I'm still there for the sake of the kids. You can't tell me that you have no idea. I really feel bad. I feel guilty knowing what I know now that you're still with him like that. I feel really guilty, but it's kind of like I'm so deep in it. It's not just that we're each other. We love each other. I mean, well, I'm sorry to tell you, but I know that he loves me. I would like to see the facts, Amina. I can prove it. Let's see it. Give it here. Let's prove it. What do you have? Give it to me. I'm ready. I didn't even, I don't even want to go there. Let's go. You, I'm like, ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. You don't believe that he loves me? Not really. I feel bad. Like, I want you to know. Like, I'm not, like, here saying, like, I don't give oh, a f I don't give a flying f about okay. your, about your sorry, sad feelings. It's not his life. It happens in life. People fall in love with other people, and he fell in love with me. I can't, I couldn't I help. can't say that it's love. I, I can say it's an outlet. I'm listen, an outlet. If listen, I like you know to go what? to great you want me to tell you something? too. I love going to great I'm an outlet. I'm playing around. I'm his wife. We were, we were over here with Peter having a ball. Yeah? yeah. Love you. See you later. Looks nice. I appreciate you for coming. Thank you. 
Peter asked me to attend Remy and Pap's wedding with him. He said he wanted to talk. I haven't seen or spoken to him since he told me Tara was pregnant. You look beautiful. You always look beautiful. Thanks, you don't tell me that enough. The fact that Amina showed up tonight means there's a chance I can make things work. I owe it to her, to Tara, and all of my children to make better choices. I'm getting a vasectomy, which means the child that Tara's carrying right now will be my last. Amina needs to know the truth, and I hope that she can handle it. Peter, it's a very difficult situation for me to even still be standing here and that, consider bro. anything with you. I understand that. And, to you, the fullest. That's and why you should I'm, appreciate that because no do. other woman would. I was thinking that things were going really good with us before I found out that um, I was pregnant. I felt like we were in a good space. Yeah. And things were going good. We were in a great space. But you just f***ed it all up again. It was just something that, you know, that you can't stop. Realistically, you're gonna do this. You're not gonna change. You wanna believe that no matter what I say. No, it's fact. That is looking at it realistically. If Peter could have his way, he would be in a relationship with me, but still mess around with whoever he wants to mess around with. I am not going to be part of a relationship like that. So unless he got something new to say, there's really no point in us having a conversation at all. I'll do whatever I have to do to make you comfortable with that situation. And that's gonna be my last baby. I'm not having any more kids. I made an appointment to have a vasectomy. Let me get it straight. So you're giving Tara another baby, your ex that you're not with anymore, and your wife that wanted another child, you're saying no? Me? I mean, you just had an abortion. Exactly. Peter only thinks about himself. You think it's okay to tell me you giving Tara another baby and not me? And you just having a vasectomy and saying no more kids for me and my wife. I don't want, I want you to just, just leave me alone. Just leave me and my baby and let me be, be okay. It's not what this was just, supposed to be. Peter, just leave me alone. Okay. Let me, uh, let me start with this, Tara. I, you have been pregnant before, so how could 18 weeks go by and you not know that you're pregnant? I mean, well, let's just backtrack. If I were found out at one week, mm -hmm. I would be having a baby. Okay. Then you should have so just let's said just that. let's be clear. And anybody who knows me knows that if I feel like there's a slip up, there will be a plan B involved. Okay. Okay. So, with that being said, when that plan B was taken, that was the, the rest was history for me. Okay, so like, you took a plan B and, I did. Didn't, and thought it would work? Absolutely. I want to say I'm glad it didn't work. How, you are. How, yeah, so you're, so you are happy that yeah, she's having the baby. He's coming, he's coming, and I want to kiss his little feet in two weeks, and I can't wait. Okay. Do you think that Tara got pregnant on purpose, Amina? Well, no. You don't get pregnant on purpose. It takes two people to get pregnant. But um, hiding it, for a long time, definitely on purpose. Clear. You have Peter, two kids already, you know Peter when you get pregnant. Peter and I are very close. There's nothing even at this point that goes on with my body that he's not the first person to know. Okay. Even now. All right. I mean, let me ask you this. If you knew then that Tara Lies. was pregnant, would you have still gone through with the abortion? I probably would have kept the baby too because part of me having the abortion was Peter because he doesn't want any more kids and I was considering that. I want to be clear. I, I'm, I would never want to say to a woman, come on, now you know. The, the thing is, when she made that decision, I agree with, you know, yeah, I, I, I rock with you on that. Okay. You know what I mean? It's not all the way comfortable for me either. I mean, you were very upset when he brought up the vasectomy to you in the package that we just saw. Uh, and I know that you wanted more kids. So how did it feel knowing that Tara is going to be the last person to have one of Peter's children? <coughs> Well, at the time, I, you know, I was upset, but I, I definitely overreacted, you know, especially because she's not the last person that has her his what is, baby. Who? What does that mean? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheer it!